<laughs> What's up, people? Chilling on a beautiful Saturday. Happy Shabbos. Uh, just chilling, listening to some Sean Price. Got my little uh, health drink. Mm. It's supposed to be a health drink. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't have anything in it. I'm just probably a little bit of sweetness in it. Uh, <laughs> what if I did have something in it? Be celebrating, right? <laughs> Saturday. Just chilling, feeling good, trying to get through this, these times, you know, it's the worst re retrograde ever, fucking people are dying, things are happening, change, a big change, don't be afraid of change, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know why, they say, uh, after chaos comes order, order, Nah. <laughs> but it's true. Order comes. It's for you. It's for your benefit. You to go on and, you know, uh, perhaps like a transient gateway, a fucking escape, a, you know, something that uh, is going to be good for the future because if it wasn't happening, that means it's not meant to be, but it is happening. It's happening to you. You know, whatever you went through, you see your transient, or you see whatever your your your. Uh, they say it's like a a, a, uni, a, a a life float from the universe. What do you call those things? You know, a float, but a float with a rope to pull you out of what you're. You know, but you gotta see it. So when you see your gate opening, you gotta go through it. You know what I'm saying? Don't. Just be like oh, all the time. It's good to be like that. Like like you don't care. You know whatever hits you hits you. That's how you get super strong uh, spiritually and, and energetically, mentally. But there's a time where you have to, you know. Um, I don't think like this, but for the people that do, say like perhaps swallow your pride, perhaps you know. But it's like that kind of because it's already saying you're from that position and that's unfair. But I'm just saying that's why I don't think like that. But it's kind of like take your chance, go through it because people are people are going through something. But when the when the thing comes in to help you, you like no, this can't be it. This takes me to a story from Christian <laughs> living as a Christian, thinking like the way they think and saying like. Oh, it was a story about a guy who was like, oh, God, help me, help me. And then a, a helicopter came and he was like, nah, that can't be God. And it went away. And he's like, God, help me, God, help me. And then a, a ship comes in. He's like, no way, no way, no way. And then um, even something, you know, because, you know, it was probably too big for him to imagine or whatever. I don't know. And then something else comes to save him. I, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a, a, a giant animal. I don't know. But the thing is that he kept saying, no, this can't be for me. And you're messing yourself up. You know what I'm saying? You're messing yourself up because it's, it's to help you. And it's like, you know, um, in life... Problems, things, situations. You could be living somewhere. You need help. You could be um, not needing help, but trying to collaborate with uh, a person. Uh, it could be any kind of way. It doesn't have to be entertainment. It could be uh, administrative. It could be financial, you know? And people are like always scheming and shit. Or being an asshole and fucking, you know, maybe rejecting something because you didn't like the idea of somebody else steering a ship. And why do I say that? I mean, that's kind of old and it's been happening so long, but anything, it doesn't have to be just that. But the thing is that you're rejecting something that is for you, you know, and then you're like later on, like, Oh, uh, why can't I get out of this thing? It, it came for you, but you weren't, you know, a lot of people may even say because they're, they're angry at something like this because they said, oh, astrology. Oh, what the fuck? You know, and they get mad. 
But in life, you know, you kind of like give things chances for a reason. I grew up, I'm different than everybody, you know, or maybe there's a, a, a certain amount of people that might think like me, you know. And when I was a kid, you know, no matter what religion said, right, one thing that was so uh, profound to me and like had proof, it had proof was that and it was weird too scary but you know what it's so crazy there was a store in my town people might not even believe this and i think it was midtown or maybe downtown or not downtown but a little past midtown going towards downtown there was a store on the Great Avenue, the big uh, avenue that sells, you know, that has all these stores, right? And um, I remember I was a little kid, you know. I remember going to the store. I was four years old, five years old. People were like, what? I know because I would never, I could never send my kids to the store with money in their hand in a time where there was fucking murderers, <laughs> and fucking uh, kidnappers. I could have been fucking kidnapped. Um, I used to go to the store for my house. I was four. <laughs> Fucking funny, right? Um, anyway, that's funny. It's just funny. Um, I, uh, I was older and I would go to the Great Avenue, that fucking cell, just to walk. Look, I was a little kid. And I would always see this sign in the window or um, this thing. You know, it, it was a sign. It would, it would say and it would change all the time until one day I got close to it. I was like, I noticed this chain. The sign's changing all the time. And it says, once it said uh, Capricorn, I was like, what the fuck is that? It says, you you will see this and this will happen to you. And then when the way it was talking, it scared me because I was like, hey, that's like the Bible. And then all of a sudden I was like <laughs> asking my parents, what that? what's a Capricorn? And they were like, oh, you know, they were like telling me, and you know, oh, when your birthday comes, you have this thing and it talks, says these things that are like, you know, kind of true, but don't listen to it because it's of the devil. It's not of God. God doesn't like those things. And I was like, what? And I started thinking, you know, I looked up my sign and then one day I saw it. I saw my sign in the, in the little sign that keeps changing in the store. And um, all I know is that I was like blown away when I read what it said. I was like, and then I was like, no, that's against God. The set, and it was like maybe a month later or two months later or a year or two years later. And I saw the same thing. And then eventually these stores changed in time. They were probably um, uh, taken or uh, the businesses moved or they failed or whatever. But one thing is that I would never get over the fact that I realized later on that there's a lot of truth in this thing. But today I know for sure that maybe... We were never supposed to have a moon. Because this is all about the moon and the, the, the changing of the moon. And from that point is where they created time, which wasn't supposed to be really created because it's always shifting. It's, it's shifting. It's like fluctuating or um, doing this thing that changes constantly. And we're not supposed to, uh, maybe I'll say this, maybe you're supposed to measure a certain way it was never measured right. Or maybe they kind of think they have a, some kind of hold on it, but that it's like, it's like bad math, but people don't realize it because it's, it's comfortable. And then we're always changing and losing sleep. Ah, uh -huh. I mean, that's easy to tell, but. And it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter. I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say. Everybody stop time. You know. Well, you're really supposed to live more natural. But anyway, uh, 
pathetic. Doesn't matter. That's it.